So, I battled the Let Twins. And what did I learn from that? Well, last week I made a video explaining why I called out the Let Twins. So, this video is explaining what I learned from battling them. The first thing is musicality. Sounds obvious because their musicality is on point. Back then, I was just doing tricks and explosive moves. There's some parts where I'm dancing on the music, but I di really didn't understand the different instruments in the music and how to ride that beat. So I really went back and worked a lot on that. On this battle, you can really see the different level on their musicality compared to mine. And to all the Lay Twins fans that were in my comments, everyone failed to mention we are battling on their music. That does give you an advantage. Oh! Doesn't change the fact that their musicality is insane. And the second thing is style. Be different. Not just from how you dress, but from how you dress to how you dance. How you dress, as you can see in here, I was already developing my own dress style of colors and everything. I got that from them where I really wanted to be able to dance in whatever outfit I was wearing. Even if I wasn't comfortable, the more you dance, your body starts adapting to that. Be different in your dance. Be unique. As you can see, they blew up because they were so different. And that really, really stuck with me. How can I be different? I took everything that I enjoyed from breaking, telling, everything, and I really tried to merge it to make it my own style. That's when, when people ask me what dance style I do, I say, if you want to categorize me in a style, I do hip hop, break, house, I do this. But apart from that, I just say, I just dance, really, because I don't want to be categorized. It's like I feel limited to just one style. I don't want to be categorized. It's just my style is just a blend of every single style that I enjoy. The last one is signature moves something that anyone can see and they know it's your move well that's pretty much why i believe this whole big battle went viral because i did one of their signature moves after this as you can see i didn't have any signature moves i was just doing flips moves nothing that would stand out and you would be like oh that's male's move and i really worked on that it took it takes a long time developing your style and all my signature moves they were by accidents i was just doing it in the club or a lot of my signature moves if you see it spins it's combined it's a combination of like two moves put together um, that makes that signature move or it's just a lazier version of another move that just looks way better, but it's actually not as hard. There's a my favorite type of signature move, something that looks hard, but it's not. And I really got that from them to have four or five signature moves. And every time I just really work on how can I make it better or different variations or different ways I can use that signature move and how I can use it on the beat with, with different types of Styles. I sometimes try that, try that signature move in different types of music, just to see how it works and really perfect. I can use the signature move to the full, to its full potential and have its whole wow. Yeah, you know, when I use it, see. Really it's, wait, where's my L? Yeah. 